scouting report for Nebraska. Nebraska serving to start this set. Good dig by Parker. And Hampson dug by Rolfson. Robbins Hardy keeps it alive. And a very physical opening point goes the way of the Huskers. I'm very impressed with Alohi Robbins Hardy on defense. She actually led the BYU team in digs last night, more than the libero. Service error by Paul Miller. Side out BYU. Paul Miller, the only senior for the Huskers. There's Robbins Hardy. Set 15 digs last night, 37 assists. Her primary sport is basketball, but she's grown up playing volleyball her whole life. Is a big contributor right now for BYU. Player of the year in Hawaii. Rolfson with the kill. Amber and Katie are two twin sophomores. Parents were basketball players. Mark and Teresa both played basketball at the University of Nebraska Kearney. We're seeing that more and more athletes raising athletes. gets the kill. There's Katie and Amber when they were little girls. And we were talking, Holly, I think they actually look more alike now than they did as they were growing up. I agree. Twins from the state of Nebraska. And again, as Holly pointed out, their parents were basketball players. Played with Brenda Van Langen, one of our announcer co-workers. Nebraska Carney, big division two powerhouse. Miller with a set, the back set, good dig. And Hampson with too much power from that right side at 6 7. Both teams playing superb defense, and then Jennifer Hampson. This ball's set a little inside. She gets her feet there, able to swing high enough to use the blocker's hands, get that ball to drop. It's just her third kill, but Hampson seems to be getting involved a little more now. There's the block. Good job by the Huskers. And again, it's the Huskers block hanging tough. Well, it's all about hitter coverage in Nebraska. Did a fantastic job covering their hitter. Justine Wong arrives again in the perfect position. And then Nebraska earns a block at the net for the point. Yeah, the sisters combining. Four to two, Nebraska leads. Showing her physicality at the net. That 
it's a little out of Haggerty's reach. And BYU now has taken the lead behind a 3-0 run. Maybe over the net. Paul Miller with the net violation. The side out BYU. Timeout Nebraska. As once again, Nebraska started strong, but BYU has fought back and has the two-point advantage. BYU up a set on Nebraska's Paul Miller touches the net. Bad break for the Huskers. Everything going the Cougars' way. Chef, that's presented by Northwestern Mutual. Big dig out of the back row by Parker. 4-0 BYU run right now. And once again, Boswell wins the point. She was hot early and now is coming on again. When BYU plays this kind of defense, Sierra Parker, well, this is over dig from Nebraska, Amy Boswell, with the point. Three-point advantage for BYU. Parker with a couple of excellent digs in the last two rallies. heard here. Hampson, there's a back row attack. Gray. And in the middle. I can't talk enough about Sierra Parker, the libero for BYU. Look at her delivering a perfect pass so they can run the offense through their middle to Amy Boswell with the BYU kill. Game plan working so far. John Cook was last night in upsetting Washington. And I think Sean Olmstead would be proud of the Cougars tonight so far. Walson misses. Was it touched? Yes. Touched by BYU Point, Nebraska. Let's see if we can tell. Alohi Robbins Hardy barely gets a finger on that block. Ball drops long. Etheridge comes in to serve for Nebraska. Nine to seven, BYU leads. Gray terminates from the left side. I like when they get Alexa Gray that fastball out to the pin. She's got a quick arm, jumps well. Feel like a lot of times they're setting her too high and she's not in rhythm. This time. She gets on top of the ball. Last night, the stats were so skewed in favor of Hampson. Tonight, BYU's really spread it around a lot more. Five players with at least three kills. That statistical box that I am keeping, that's 10 points. Now Nebraska. describe that again. It's, it's Nebraska using the blocker's hands, tooling them out of bounds or high, flat, and deep. So 10 points where they use the block to their advantage. Excellent serve by Paul Miller. Tamber Nobles, number 15, is saying there's a screen and she can't see the server. Middle attack. This time it's Whitney Young. Nebraska has two blockers blocking the angle, forcing BYU to swing and hit that cutback across their body, and Whitney Young does. There's the BYU block denying the Huskers. The duo of Hampson and Young again. They are so good together. Jennifer Hampson at six foot seven. She sets up the block, and then Whitney Young gets the assist. 
Paul Miller with a set. A nice looking set there for Amber Olsen. This is a great set. Watch Mary Paul Miller isolate her outside hitter. Two blockers jump with the middle attacker. Nobody up on Rolfson on the left side. Uh, a little miscommunication there. But it's going to be a point for BYU. Nebraska into the net. That is a break for BYU. Yes. Does that look for sure like it would be point for Nebraska. They were in the net. Hampson set too far in front of her. A nice up in the back row by Albrecht. The BYU block again picks up the point for the Cougars. Look at this Annika Albrecht one arm stab to keep it alive, and then Tamber Nobles and Amy Boswell big block for BYU. Time out on the court. BYU has extended its lead to four points, already up a set against Nebraska. As well. What difference between then and now is the mustache, Ollie? They call it the Olmstead Tourney Stash. <laughs> and at BYU, they've got some rules about facial hair. You've got to keep the facial hair above the upper lip. So that's why he's got the mustache. The team likes it. Side on Nebraska. Cecilia Hall was the hot player in the middle for Nebraska last night. Gets one of, that's her fourth kill. So far, kind of a quiet night thus far for her. Wangarantes back to serve. bump there between the BYU players. Results in a point for Nebraska. Double contact. Two players being aggressive going after it. It's better than being tentative, but always your setter has the first call on the ball. 14-12 BYU in front. Sampson. That was so smooth. What was it? That Some ball was, set, that ball the was set too wide. This is a good angle to watch, and she tries to hit it, but it goes ah, outside the antenna. Outside. I wondered what happened to the Nebraska defense. Outside the antenna, so it is Nebraska's point. Wangarantes will serve. The Huskers trail by one. They'll try again to Hampson. Hampson's having trouble tonight. Well, I think Nebraska's keen on slowing her down. They watched her, watched her tendencies, charted her. So this is a team that's really focused on slowing her down. That was one of the keys to the match. That was Nobles with the kill. BYU is having to spread their offense around tonight and look for contributions from other players. So far, it's happened. Again, they've got five players with at least three kills. Hampson hasn't dominated like she did last night. There's a dig from Hampson. Nobles. And on the right side, it is Amber Rolfson with a kill. I'll tell you, between Katie and Amber Rolfson digging, putting balls away on the left and the right, they are the backbone to this Nebraska team. You see the swings. 63 last night for Jennifer Hampson. 30 kills, a career high tonight. So far, only 20 swings, three kills. 
But again, Nebraska and BYU has other players who can put the ball away. This is where BYU started to pull away from Nebraska in the first set. The score was tied at 16. And BYU was able to go on and win the set. When you're the best blocking team in the country like BYU, you put so much pressure on the other team. Alohi Robbins Hardy and Amy Boswell on the stop. Haggerty off the slide. Gets the point for the Huskers. Megan Haggerty with her second kill. She got five blocks in the win against Washington last night. All-American last year as a middle blocker from Glen Allen, Illinois. His sister Maddie's a freshman on the team. Heading into intermission. That's the faster ball I'm talking about. If they can consistently get that ball faster out to Alexa Gray, look at how dangerous she is in transition. One blocker, high snap, cross court. Fifth kill, we're tied at 17. Goes out of bounds, BYU's point. Tough serve by Amy Boswell from the back line. Boswell, the middle blocker from Aloha, Oregon. Hardy serving. Just won by Gray. Felt like early in this match she was a little bit quiet, but now we're talking about her a lot. That's a good thing for BYU. Eight kills on 24 swings. 22-18 BYU in front. Robbins Hardy serving. Celia Hall uh, with, with the kill and then slipped after the play. That was dangerous. It was, but there is another high hand swing. We haven't been saying that a lot because BYU has been more disciplined 
with the Rockets. All with five kills. She had a career high 14 last night. this gap quickly. It's a three-point advantage for BYU. Make it four. Set point given to BYU by the powerful arm of Hampson. Hampson's going to get her kills, but the balance of BYU offense looks really good. John Cook and the Huskers in danger of going down two sets heading into intermission. Thank you. 